Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible step by step in Fusion 360 a simple stamp with a specific design, in our case the like sign. Moreover I will present you the final product and I will show you how you can print it. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important so in order to set them correctly let's go here and let's verify. Today's drawing will be again in millimeters so everything is alright. Before modeling you must decide first of all which symbol you want to print. For today's drawing I will print a simple like button. So I google it like symbol, I found a picture, you can pick each photo you want and then I just download it. After that I went on this website to convert it into CVG format. I will let the link in the description. Then I chose the file, for example this one, upload and I converted Vectorial into CVG and then I press convert. After that I downloaded and I came back to Fusion. Let's create now a component. For example I'll write here stamp and then press OK, create a new sketch on this plan and I construct first of all a circle. Click here, center diameter circle with a diameter of 30 millimeters. Now it is the time to insert our CVG, so let's go to this tab, insert CVG, chose it, OK, and press OK. Now as you can see this is the rough version. First of all you cannot modify it, but you can delete this part if you don't need it. And of course you should also modify the rest, for example this one. You can select it, delete it and you must reconstruct it. But to be able to modify it much more easier, select it, press the Ctrl plus C or the Command plus V and just drag it. Now you can delete it and you have also access to modify it as you see. You should modify every single part which is not ok, for example this one or that one and so on and you should scale after that. So let's get started. After your drawing is done it should look like this. Pay attention that every single boundary to be closed, otherwise you cannot extrude it. Another important fact is to construct a line in order to mirror it. So construct a simple line, use the mirror command, select this one, ok, and now you can delete them. The most important thing when it comes to a stamp is to mirror it, otherwise on the paper it will look exactly the reverse way, so we don't need it. Move select, move and try to put it exactly in the center or as much as possible in the center. Let's say it is done, finish the sketch and now it is the time to extrude. Extrude the first part, second and third with two millimeters. Then press OK. Now let's make our sketch visible again and let's extrude it for the second time with 4 millimeters. But for this time we will join it to be one single piece, one single part. And look at that. Now it is the time for the first export. So let's go to export, export into CTL format, but the first thing you must do it is to save it in your cloud and then to export, so you get the idea. And after you export it, let's go back move command, select this point upside down and rotate it with 180 degrees. Create now a new sketch and press the P letter for the project command and construct a line from the middle, a line of 30 millimeters, so it is 3 centimeters. Select this line, offset it with minus 3. This line offset it with minus 5 or with 5 in this case and let's construct another line. So press the L letter and construct a line with a distance 7.5. Create a new circle but for this time select two point circle. Go down with 9 millimeters. This line you should offset it. 
9 millimeters and let's add a radius here so press the fillet a radius of 2.5 we should close this boundary as well align from this point to this point trim command and we are done finish sketch and let's use the revolve command select these three surfaces axis this one it will be and look at that but let's select new body and we are prepared in order to export the second time let's go to the bodies make body one invisible and now we are able to export again save it and then after you save it go to the export button and again ctl format and then you will export for the next part, let's focus on 3D printing. I will use this program, Ultimaker Cura. This is the program that I use together with my 3D printer. This is my 3D printer that I currently use. I go to this button. I select the first one, open. And of course, if you can see, the position is not good. You can also flip it from the fusion, but also you can flip it here. Select this body, go here, rotate, and rotate it with 180 degrees. After that, you are done. You can also select which format or which standard you want. You can go with standard quality in fill pattern cubic. After that, you will press the slice button and the program will tell you how much time it will take and how many grams of material or how many meters. After that, save the G-code press save okay and after that right click delete and let's add the second one the handle as you can see this is the perfect position standard cubic slice 41 minutes 4 grams okay let's go on save to disk and we are ready now to print first i set up the printer then I started to print the first body, then I continued with the second one. I glued the two pieces together and this is the final product. And then I tested it. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you next time.